Now switching gears, one local family is sharing their story after losing their eight-month-old daughter. The community isn't allowing the family, though, to battle this loss alone. KX HC News reporter Tashara Parker joins us in studio with their story. Tashara, the family tells us they're receiving more than what they could ever imagine. Jenny Amanda, that's right. Help has been pouring in from friends to strangers, but there is still more assistance needed. Doctors told the family the day baby Aubrey was born, born that she wouldn't make it through the night. Today we focus on Aubrey's battle to stay with us, her family's courage for the last eight months, and how the community has rallied together during one of the most difficult times in this family's life. There was no way of knowing that it was going to happen. March 20th, 2014. That day eight months ago is a day the Kadoka family will never forget. Aubrey was born two months premature. She had a fetal maternal hemorrhage, which is pretty rare. A condition that the family says even stunned the doctors. So she did suffer some brain damage from birth because of that. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, fetal maternal hemorrhage is when a baby loses blood circulation either before or during the delivery stages. In Aubrey's case, a high percentage of her blood was lost prior to delivery. Well, they told us that after she was born that she probably wouldn't make it through the night. Oh, but she would. Between mom, dad, big brother Brayden, and a strong support system, Miss Aubrey will stay strong. Brayden has been an amazing big brother. He's really kind of been my one of my rocks throughout all this. Two months after birth, Aubrey would be released from the NICU. So once we got to come home, um, she just got to be our baby as much as she could be. Angela would eventually need to quit her job to care for the new baby. Around noon, she just didn't, she didn't look good. A traumatic experience that would happen a day before Thanksgiving and wouldn't end the way anyone would want it to. We got an IV in her to get her hydrated. And at that point, we still just thought, stomach virus and then from there everything just kind of quickly went downhill. Baby Aubrey would lose her battle later that day but the family would not have to fight for strength alone. And it's something that we didn't really ask for but we're grateful that we have friends and family and people that want to help us out. I mean even complete strangers that we you don't even know. One family friend even created a youcaring.com webpage for the family all in an effort to assist with hospital bills and unexpected costs of laying Aubrey Kyle to rest.